So you want to bridge your life together. Not a problem. Edge Bridge is an amazing tool that fills in the space between edges. If target is set to edge and you left click two different edges, it will close them off with a face. As usual, the space bar is used to reset the first edge. But the fun starts when target is set to two holes. This tool can connect just about any two holes you give it. If you left click one of the edges, then left click drag the second edge. Moving the mouse left and right will raise the bridge. And moving the mouse up and down will increase the number of edge loops in between. You can do it with two holes that are on the same row, two holes that are in different rows, and even two holes that are in different rows and have completely different shapes. This is an excellent tool whenever you need to connect two different objects together and you don't want to ruin the topology. You can even connect two empty flat shapes together to quickly make things like skirts, blouses, and dresses. Pixelogic, ZBrush, and Danny Mac both have excellent tutorials on how to do that if you want to know more. Links in the description. But here's how this tool works. This area here controls the shape of the bridge. In order, the shapes are spline, arcs and line, tight round corners, circle, round corners, straight lines, arcs, small round corners, and lines. The modifiers at the bottom give you some extra control over the bridge area. Interactive curvature means that you get to drag and decide how tall the connection of the bridge is. Optimal curvature means that ZBrush decides how tall the bridge should be in order to give you the smoothest curve. Half curve means it will set the height of the bridge to half of the optimal. Interactive resolution means that you get to control how many edge loops the bridge has by left click dragging. Optimal resolution means ZBrush decides how many edge loops you should have to get the smoothest curve. Minimum resolution just means that ZBrush will use as few edge loops as possible in order to connect the two holes. Usually it'll polygroup by normals, but if you want every other loop to be its own colored polygroup, set this to polygroup rows. Polygroup flat means the entire bridge will be a single color. Pivot on hole center means ZBrush will automatically try and curve the bridge around the average of the holes, but if you want to manually change the pivot to center around a specific edge, you can try and do that here. But in my opinion, usually the default gives you the best results. And auto align edges is very similar. The default is usually what you want, but if you want to try and align the bridges based on the edges you click you can try and do that here hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you around